Good morning, fellow option traders. This is Jeff, and welcome to the Daily Scan for Monday, October 20th, 2014. All right, uh, quickly, uh, Friday announcements. We had housing starts, which was in line, and consumer sentiment, which was up a little bit. Everybody's uh, very happy about the low gas prices, so... They're feeling good. Improving jobs market was another comment that they made. Uh, not exactly seeing it, but, you know, when they throw the numbers out there, unemployment numbers, then everybody feels good about that. But then a couple of days later, they take, take a look around them, and maybe they're not really feeling all that well. So for today, we really don't have anything uh, that is starred anyway. And um, it's kind of a quiet week, I guess you could say. So um, there's not many one, two, three, four, five, six starred announcements this week. There's nothing down there. No. So I think it's going to be a relatively quiet week from an announcement perspective. Uh, earning season. Big deal on earnings season. Let's see what's going on across the ponds. Uh, filthy rich 50. Filthy rich, yeah. The richest person in each U.S. state. So if you're interested in finding out what that is, you might want to go to marketwatch.com and check it out. All right, over in Asia, we are green across the board. And some pretty nice percentages here. And Europe... Uh, pretty much red across the board to flat. The FTSE is flat. Um, and everybody else is pretty solidly red. Let's see how things are going on over here. Okay, so opening up here, uh, we're looking at a uh, gap up slightly at the open gold is at 1241 so it's up about 50 bucks over the last week or so and oil is at 8226 still hanging around there around that 80 number um do i still have my charts yeah let's take a look at the big four here and take a look at what happened on friday uh the s p had a very nice run on Friday after a kind of a tough week. Oops, I'm not looking at Friday here. <laughs> Oops. Um, yeah. Well, it was kind of a troubling day Friday, actually. And now we have an expiration here for the futures, and we're starting over again. And it's actually, it looks like it might be kind of trickling down a tad here at the open. Uh, gold had a little bit of a pop recently. This was about 1.30 this morning. Oil uh, looking pretty flat and the VIX, all the gas is being taken out of the VIX with this volatility because of what you're seeing here. Stocks are rising. IV is shrinking. Okay. Uh, we can get right into our A plus list, but first let's take a look at last week. There we go. Uh, okay, it's always easy to compile these the results for the week when you have uh, like three weeks in a row that we've done pretty well. Of course, then there's always these weeks, and those are very painful to put together. Don't really like to do that. But you do what you have to do and you know it's a business. You know sometimes business is not so good and sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's really good. Last week was pretty good. The only sort of loser, uh, a non-winner I guess you could say, was LinkedIn which in and out except for um, execution costs it was flat. So commission on that for eight 
times, 16 times, so there's about, actually lost about uh, $20 on that deal if you include commissions. Uh, which, when I put this commissions over here, this is actually based on a percentage. So, uh, wouldn't even count over here because there's no dollars involved here. So it doesn't, it's not even really being counted. This is probably a bad way of doing this. If you notice here, I'm looking at 6% of my, 6% um, of my risk and reward is in commission costs, but in a case like this where I have no gain, it actually doesn't get counted over here. So probably what I should do is take a look at winners and losers. No, I can't do that either. I could just take a look at thinkorswim and plug the number in there. I may consider doing that because I do like to make this realistic here. So anyway, that's the results and the um, uh, the uh, spreadsheet is up on my blog and the blog address which is the optionguru.com slash blog and then there's a downloads page and it's actually on that page I believe <laughs> I don't even remember now I think it is yeah okay uh, let's get going right off now with our scan for today. Now we have a lot of earnings marks here. So can we skip these? We might as well just skip them. Let's go right down to Costco. Uh, right, and we need, what do we need here? Let's get this set up. We need this one. Alright, we didn't get a crash. That's always a good thing. Uh, Costco looks like it's getting close to a 50 or uh, 20 delta setup here. Uh, we're not going to take a look at the Dow. And we can take a look at gold, I guess. Would you trust this? I don't know. So I took all the moving averages off except for the hull. So we're just going to pay attention to the hull right now. And it's saying that it gold is in a new uptrend. So based on that and waiting, we're waiting for a cycle. We need a cycle up here. We would like to have a full cycle. We'd like to see we get a new trend change. We want the stochastic to give us a full cycle up and then back down again, and then we would get in. So that's what we're waiting for. So we need to wait a little bit longer to see if we really want to get in this or not. Um, if it looks good enough, we might just go ahead and enter down here. So I'm going to put a tentative little um, 20 delta mark down here. I'm uh, moved down to the, into the basement and what you might be hearing in the background is uh, the furnace running. It's a little tad cold here. So I'm going to see if this really interferes too much or not. I'll listen to the recording and, I, and I'll just uh, pause it while it's running uh, now and into the future if it's way too disturbing. In theory this microphone since it's facing me shouldn't be picking that noise up too much back there because it's a directional microphone. But it is pretty loud because I'm like practically right next to it. Alright, um, 
I just want to get the, I don't want to delay getting the recording posted. Okay, so uh, Google, we had earnings last week and didn't do much to it. I think that we might be looking at a pretty strong continuing downtrend for Google here. So, I'm going to be looking for an entry up here, whether it's going to be, well, it might be a 50. So I'm going to mark it as a 50, just because we don't have many 50s. Okay, so let's just make sure LinkedIn has earnings coming up. Let's make sure that it's within this time frame. Uh, no, see, now actually, LinkedIn, you rat, you dirty rat. Could have made some money on you. I don't know if I'm going to play LinkedIn anymore or not. Um, it's pretty much done nothing but burn me lately. Um, although in the past it has been very cooperative. I mean, it's had a really nice long downtrend with some nice um, bumps up here. So, we're in a new uptrend on the weekly. That might be something to pay attention to. We'll see how that works out. But regardless, I'm not doing anything on that this week. Okay, so how are we looking on NDX? We had a very nice trade here last week on NDX. Closed it out. Um, I did close this out, I believe, on Thursday. And it worked out well. And thank you very much. So, what do we got going here? Another opportunity? Uh, could be interesting. I'm going to put this down as a 20 delta prospect for today. It may not work out, but still I think it would be a good one. All of our Friday prospects, uh, none of them actually worked out because they were all bear calls and the market was pretty hot. Yeah, I can see this thing registering on my uh, on my audio meter here. I can see the furnace registering pretty good. All right, Netflix. Um, boy, they got hit really hard on their earnings, didn't they? We have to wait a little while for this to settle down. Just take a look at Priceline, see how far out their earnings are. Wow, they're way out there. So, here we are. We still have a valid setup for a 50 Delta. So, I'm putting them down on my 50 Delta as a setup. Now, the difference between a setup and... Uh, alert is that in a setup we're waiting for the hook we haven't gotten the hook down yet this red hook down we didn't get it yet on a on an alert will be okay so we're a day into this we have a hook down and we're waiting for price to move below the in the case of a bear call below the low previous low so we would be if this was an alert, we would have an alert set here below the low from Friday. And if it came in lower than that, then we would have an entry. We would do that probably in the morning if we get the alert in the morning um, after 10 o'clock. Or if we don't get the alert till later in the day, then we can do it later in the day. But never before 10 or you try not to trade before 10. So often things head in one way right at the open and then they settle down and then they actually reverse themselves. So you have to uh, be careful about that. For instance here, we big gap up. Oh yeah, yeah, this is good. And then it starts sinking later on. Even on this first candle, which is a 78-minute candle, which is 
an hour and 18 minutes after he opened, so it's almost 11 o'clock. For that entire time period, it was working its way down. And you're able to see that if you just, uh, just a little bit patient. If it's going to continue down, then it's going to continue down and it's going to be a good trade. Okay, the furnace is done. The silence is deafening. Okay, and if it's uh, too disturbing, I apologize for this one. In the future, I will just hit the pause button and wait for it to finish running. All right, now next on the list is the Russell. We had them down for a 20 Delta. We got a hook down, good thing. So I can alert this. Here, let me, I'll do it over on this chart. I'll just be looking for it to come in below here. And we may get in on that. So it was, um, I looked at this on Friday and was like, do I have enough guts, I guess you could say, to get in with a 20 delta on this particular day? I don't know. Yeah. We'll see how it works out. So they're down for a 20 delta for today. And on Friday, I just want to go back here and see we left off on rut. I want to go back to Baidu because we had a 50 delta on it. And we did get a hook. We did not get confirmation on the MACD, however. So now, actually, uh, earnings are next week. So we could still get in on this one this week. So I'm throwing an alert here. And this will be below the low from the previous day. Make an alert at or below. So now we have an alertable trade. We just didn't get the confirmation here. So uh, if it's going to move up today, then MACD kept us out on Friday. Our confirmation indicator. Alrighty, sorry for jumping around. Let's move down to SPX, the S&P 500. We are ready here with a 50 delta, or a 20 delta, I'm sorry. Oh man, getting these flipped around here today. Uh, and just about every day. So this is a 20 delta. We're still just waiting for that hook down. So all three cash indexes have a 20 delta on them. Tesla has earnings coming up, but they're not sure. They have not received confirmation on the date. Uh, we're not quite up here for a 50 delta. We still could look at this for a 20 delta. Uh, just because it didn't quite get up there. If it hooks down here, I'm going in with a 20 delta. So I'm going to sort of put it like a second target here. <laughs> I, uh, you know, just bend and twist rules and stuff like that. But uh, this would be a good candidate. I mean, it's definitely in a downtrend. We have a little bit of a pullback here. It's not giving us an entry for a 50 delta, but it's kind of like waving the flag here and say, me, 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 me for a 20 delta. All right, and then lastly, Visa has earnings coming up exactly when they are. Those are next week as well. We are in a setup for a 50 delta, so we're gonna go ahead and put them down. And that would be for a bear call as well. Uh, you know, it might just be that the market's going to say, at least temporarily, that um, we're looking good. So we're going to just continue marching upward in a bullish-looking type of possible reversal of the current trend on the major indexes. So we'll just see how that works out. I think just got to give it some time. 
All right, that's it for today. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and happy trading.